Philando Castile graduated from St. Paul Central High School in 2001. He would have turned 33 next week. Castile recently worked in the cafeteria at J.J. Hill Montessori School. The principal there said she promoted him to supervisor. She described him as a bright light at the school. That's why a large vigil tonight started outside J.J. Hill. Nina Moyni continues our team coverage there tonight. Nina. Hi, Liz. It did start at that school, which is just about a half mile away from where I'm standing outside the governor's mansion, where there are still a few hundred people by our estimates that are out here. This has really been the central point of the protests in the last day or so. At one point, St. Paul police estimated there might be as many as 2,000 people out here in these streets. These people are upset. They're outraged. They think this killing didn't need to happen. They think it was racially motivated. And while strangers, uh, politicians, celebrities even have all weighed in on this killing, Today, again, about a half mile from here at the school where he worked for almost a decade, family and friends, those closest to Philando Castile, got together to mourn the loss of their loved one. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Philando Castile was in charge of helping feed more than 500 students each day at J.J. Hill Montessori School. He knew most everyone's names and their parents. Phil, when I would walk through the lunch line in the morning, if I was down, he would give me a hug. Every child here at J.J. Hill was his child, and I know that he loved them. I know that. His sister, mother, and girlfriend asked a crowd of hundreds not to forget the way he lived or the way he died. They killed him while he was still wearing his seatbelt. They killed him as he was reaching for his identification. Our nation is in trouble. Our black children are on the endangered species list. A mother talking to other parents who are struggling to tell their own kids how the man they knew as Mr. Phil left this world. I had to tell my own daughter this morning. She sat in silence and looked at me and then said, Mom, I'm scared because I don't know what kind of people human beings are. She'll tell her daughter to focus on people like Philando Castile, the kind she felt lucky to have in her child's life. The school is talking about having some grief counselors on hand as well for anybody that needs it. So again, we are outside the governor's mansion, just about a half mile away from the school, where there are still hundreds of people out here protesting. We do want to mention it has been peaceful all of tonight, but there were some smaller groups that were breaking off throughout the evening. Still are, we're told, that we're blocking some major roads, uh, major intersections here in St. Paul, just near the Capitol, where we are. We're told that that has impacted at this point. Green Line Transportation, Metro Transit telling us that the Green Line light rail system is shut down at this point. All right, we'll stay on it. Nina, thank you.